my name is Boris Malugin, I'm from Moscow, Russia. I'm practicing in uh, Fedor of Eye Microsurgery Institution. This year, in September, we were celebrating 10 years since the first ring uh, entered the market, and it's a uh, definitely landmark uh, date for us. And uh, definitely, the thing is that as a surgeon, you have a limited ability to help uh, a lot of patients. So you can do a couple of thousand surgeries du during your professional life, but, but being able to help uh, one million patients all over the world is a big, big privilege, actually, uh, uh, to help other doctors, to, to help patients, to avoid complications. And uh, I'm very proud that I'm, I'm very glad that I had this opportunity to help so many people. That's uh, quite a rare, a unique thing. In 2016, uh, we uh, introduced uh, the Generation uh, 2 of the Malugin Ring, uh, which is uh, softer, more elastic. This is because we changed the material. Uh, it's now 5.0 polypropylene rather than 4.0 polypropylene in the classic version. And of course, uh, everything should be redesigned from the inserter to the holder. And now the ring can go inside the eye through unenlarged 2.0 millimeter incision. But most importantly, it's uh, more elastic, it's more soft, and it's more gentle to the iris. And I love to use this uh, iteration of the ring, specifically in intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, which is, I believe, a very good indication. Still, I want to keep in, uh, in my operating room the classic version, because sometimes when the irises are very stiff and really rigid, so you need to, to overcome some force when you're implanting, when you're expanding the pupil. And that's why the classic version still works well for me in these particular cases. So I think uh, this is a good addition rather than a uh, complete substitution of uh, one with another.